Guess who's back? Back again. Daddy's back. Tell a friend. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan. I'm alive. Right guys, let me start by first apologising for me, for me being so quiet recently on this channel. Since I broke up from my son's Thai mother, I've needed to chill out with the channel for a bit, chill out with messages, chill out with work, just take some much needed time off, go out, try and clear my head, get some perspective, because I can't keep going back to her and trying to make the family dynamic work. Because for one, it's dangerous, very dangerous, yeah. Um, it's too toxic and it's unbearable. And it's got to a point where it's not healthy for me, my son, or even her. So yeah, I've just needed that time out. So I do apologize. I've come to the realization that our mentalities are very different. Just to put it into retrospect, so to give you a, a better idea, I've had a, a quite a good life and I've learned a lot within my lifetime. I've done a lot. So I would put my, my age around 70, 80 years old with what I've learned and stuff within, within life and my mentality as well. And then in regards to her, I'd put hers at around about a 16 year old, like a teenager. And that's always going to clash and it's never going to work. So it's been a bit difficult since we broke up. It's been horrible messages, horrible when we've met up in regards to William. It's been quite toxic, um, quite a popular uh, word that I use at the moment to describe the relationship. And it's just been horrible, guys. And I just cannot continue with it. Now, the reason why I've always tried to bring the family back together and forgive her for everything that she's done is because my childhood wasn't that great. My mother and father got divorced and I remember how it, how it made me feel. And I remember when that I left home when I was around about 14 years of age as well, when my mother and father split up, I was living with my mother. She married a new guy, he hated kids and it caused a lot of problems. <clears throat> so yeah, I ended up leaving at 14. Crazy, but I wouldn't change a thing because it gave me a lot of life experience and made me grow up very fast. So guys, we've just got to move on. My son started nursery last week. Absolutely hated it, unfortunately. Um, but today he seems to be enjoying himself. So I am extremely happy today and in a very good mood because it really made me worry last week. Um, I love my son to bits and I just want him to be happy. I'm not putting him in nursery to get rid of him. I'm putting him in nursery for stability for his own life and for him to enjoy himself. So obviously I want him to be happy. But everything's looking good now. I'm having my son Sunday to Wednesday every week. So I think things are gonna be okay. I think she will move on with her life. I'm just staying single, guys. I've not done anything with anybody. I've just been going out, making new friends, new foreigner friends and meeting people. I've been getting recognized from this channel now as well, which uh, I don't particularly like in Bury Ram. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but nothing much I can do about it. Um, and yeah, guys, I just want to say sorry for being so quiet. I've been really quiet on messages and emails, etc. I've just needed that time out and I didn't think it was healthy to post videos because I knew that she would be watching and I just didn't need any more drama because I was getting enough guys and it was getting quite ridiculous. And to be honest, I just didn't want to make myself ill from all the negative crap. I'm tired of it. I'm normally quite a positive guy and for so long, uh, just not been that great. So yeah, anyway, I think this is finally done and dusted and we can all move on and start to find our own happiness in our very own different ways. 
So guys, I'm going to be back active. So please feel free. If you've got a story that you wish to share, please send it in and email tytalkwithdan at gmail.com. And now with, I'm tired of going on about me, guys. I just wanted to fill you in on, on, on what's been going on. I'm sorry for being quiet again. Um, but let's get back into it. Let's start sharing your Thailand stories. Right, this is from a subscriber that's been watching the channel for over a year uh, called Dirk. And it's not really a story so much, it's more like he needs some advice. Hi Dan, I've been following your channel for the last year or so and I really enjoy your perspective on dating in Thailand. I recommend your channel to many men in a similar situation as I was at first. First time to Thailand and being with or around the bar girls in Patio. Little information on myself, I'm 48 and I've been divorced for six years now, still single, retired, and don't have any more children of age that I need to support anymore. I'm in good shape, decent enough, looking, that I don't have any trouble attracting female attention, but take that with a grain of salt, it's Thailand after all. Right, I should add, I've been living in Pattaya, Jomtian, since November of 2022. I'm from Canada, and soon as you say Canada, Thai girls become a lot more interested as you can see jackpot symbol in their eyes. So, to my story. Like most of us with our first time in Thailand, you fall in love with a bar girl and get sucked into the monthly sponsor deal, even though I know all the warning signs but of course, I thought I'd be the one in a hundred that this was true love. Stop it. Get some help. Well, I'll tell you, this guy's you can take the girl out of the bar, but you can't take bar mentality out of the girl. She was 36, an 8 out of 10, with all the stories of how hard her life was growing up, and the list goes on. But as soon as I said no more money, no more honey. So six months of wasted time and money. Okay, on to what I'm looking for, advice on them. After the ended relationship with the bar girl, I had to return home to Canada as my father was in the hospital and still currently in Canada, but returning the 1st of October, just a few days from now. I'm the type of guy that needs to be with someone in Thailand. I find it can be very lonely. It's hard to communicate with my family and friends here in Canada with the 14 hour time difference. So I decided about six weeks ago to give Thai friendly a go. Just a heads up guys, 75% of the girls on there are freelancers. So be careful. The first message you send should include this question. What are you looking for here? And 75% of the time, the answer will be customer. <laughs> After weeding through that, as there's zero chance I'm doing the monthly sponsorship deal again, I started chatting with six different women, all varying in age from 23 to 34, and ended up chatting most with a 23 year old even though I was very standoffish with her at first. But she was very open with me about the age gap and was more mature than most of the older girls I was chatting with. A little about her, she's from a small village in Isan. Dum, dum, dum. She has a university degree in nursing, seen photos of her at work, seen her diploma, video chatted with her at work, met her parents via video chat, they took me for a tour of their farm and a tour around the village she comes from. We video chat now two to three times a day, four to five hours a day. Her Facebook photos and timeline all match to what she's told me about herself. 
everything seem 100% legit. She has never once asked me for money or gave me a sob story about how tough her life is. All she's told me is she just wants a small farm in Nissan and live like her parents. And guys, her parents live very simple. And after the tour of her family farm, I was shocked that anyone could live that simple. Her family looked dirt poor. It was very awkward meeting her parents as I'm older than both her parents. Uh, I'm older than both her parents, sorry. But they were very receptive to me. It helped that I only look late 30s, not 48. So I'm sitting here thinking, <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking to myself, is this 100% real? Or has this girl perfected the long game? She's just poor fam that can speak English well, that having a conversation isn't that difficult. She hasn't asked for money. I even asked if I could send here a very small amount of money to help her get to Bangkok because she is meeting me at the airport. Then we travel to my condo in Jomtian, but she said, no, I don't want you to send me money. I haven't seen any reds, I think he means red flags, other than her age, but I'm a little cautious after watching so many videos on your channel and my past experience with the bar girl, but she's not a bar girl. She's just a young farm girl. <laughs> So, my question to you, Dan, is this too good to be true? Feel free to share my story and use Dirk for my name. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Cheers. Bloody hell, guys. I've had a week off and things do not change at all. Not one iota of change. Right, I will try to be nice. She's skint, she's got no money. She's living on a farm with a parent who you've stated are dirt poor. Yes, she wants to probably marry a foreign man and it's much easier to control a man that's much older than her. And more than likely, she may have had a previous experience with a foreigner and knows that if she asks for money, that foreigner will probably run away. So the money stuff doesn't normally come until she has you hook, line and sinker, which basically means when you fall in love with her, that's when they will start pushing you to get married, to pay a nice dowry, to help build the farm, Build your own unique house on the farm also. So you and your new, beautiful, young wife could have somewhere to live and stay near the parents and live happily ever after. Now, of course, this relationship is going to cost you a lot in the long run, yeah? Right now, you try to send her a bit of money to go to Bangkok. Ah, this isn't about a bit of money. This is about a future. Stuff like this happens all the time, yeah? The young, poor girls will be online, chatting to foreigners, looking for someone to take care of her and her family. So if you want a young bride and you're happy to take care of her parents and her, then crack on. But that is the reason why she's speaking to a much older man. And always remember guys, this is just my own perspective from what I've seen over here and how I've learned that these girls work. It's not rocket science, it's not complicated at all, but I do understand that when guys are in love, they want to look at that woman and see the best only and believe that that woman truly loves them, etc. So I can understand why guys find it so difficult all the time. But I think anywhere in the world, when someone half your age is showing real interest in you, especially on a dating site, 
You've got to think why. Yeah. You've got to know why. Yeah. She's not going to fall in love with you online on a chat when she's speaking to so many other men. Because she will be speaking to so many other men. That's inevitable. The same as you'll probably be speaking to so many other women. Also, that's probably inevitable. But I can understand you like this girl. And if you want to have a true Thailand experience, then yeah, crack on. But just understand, yeah, that she just she wants a better life. Yeah, and if you can provide that better life for her, it doesn't matter if you've got four ears, six eyes, fat, thin, small, tall. You know, she just wants a guy who's generous, kind, good heart, and that can take care of her and her family. So, are you gonna be that guy? Right guys, if you've got something to say to, for yourself and you wanna give Dirk a bit of advice, then please put it down in the comments and tell him what you really think, guys. Um, ah, so many people have fallen in love Dangerous game over here, very dangerous game. Just be careful. And like I always say, keep your wallet in your pocket and you can't go wrong. But if you fall in love and then you get the sob stories and then you get the plans for the future and you need to pay for this and build this and take care of my family by giving them a large wedding dowry, if you can afford it, a lot of guys are gonna do it. And that's the harsh reality. Right guys, I'm gonna get through all the stories that you've sent. I'm gonna be working extremely hard again, uh, concentrating on the marketing that I provide for my customers because I've not been doing that for over a week as well um, and concentrating on the channel. So I'm back, I'm staying, I'm gonna keep cracking on and I hope all of you guys are safe and well. And if you're not, let Dan know. Cheers, guys. Ciao for now. Speak to you all again soon. Bye-bye.